Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a slow and peaceful start to your new year. Today, I wanted to share everything that I bought last year for my wardrobe. Looking back, I had many goals and dreams for that year, but the question is, did I accomplish everything I wanted? Did I buy too many items and go overboard? Nobody knows except for me, so let's talk about it. So I know I always say that at the beginning of the year, we need to sit and make a wish list and make some goals for our wardrobe. And I did do that at the beginning of the year, but it's funny how easy we forget about all that as we live our actual life throughout the year. So I was counting how much I bought this year and it is around 20 items, which I was feeling pretty good about. I was like, yeah, that feels nice. And then I checked my goals for the year and Back in January, I said, I'm only gonna buy 12 items this year, <laughs> which I completely forgot. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be mad at myself about this. We're just gonna share what we bought and move on and see what we can do different this year. <laughs> so the first item that I bought this year were these Nike sneakers, and I got these at an outlet store for $50. And these have been such a great addition to my wardrobe. I actually wear these a lot. They add just like a nice, laid back casual vibe so i'm really happy that i ended up getting these and these were on my wish list so that was a job well done next i got these converse shoes for 35 dollars second hand and these were also on my wish list and i've loved these shoes so much actually whenever i wear them i just feel like these are some of my personality somehow so yeah i'm really happy with this purchase another a plus for me so there's a few items that i bought this year that i'm like not sure how to count <laughs> because i want to be like this is not stuff that i'm gonna wear all the time but then again i also bought it so i think i need to count it just to be fair <laughs> so um we did go on a vacation this year and i bought some swimsuits and for some reason i bought three swimsuits <laughs> Who knows why? I'm not sure. I was on a hunt. I was on a mission and I did need to update my swimsuits, but probably one or two would have been enough. I'm not sure why I got three. So I got these two swimsuits at Aerie and they were around $25 each. And then I got this green swimsuit at Target for $30. So hopefully I'm not going to need any more swimsuits for a few years, but we'll see, you know, body changes and life changes. Swimsuits are kind of those tricky things that you really don't know how you're going to feel when you put them on again. But moving on, another item that was on my wish list were these black woven mules from Nisolo. And I did end up getting them on sale finally for $116. I still haven't worn them. I think I bought them in the fall, but for some reason, I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm not wearing them. I think I'm going through that fear of wearing new things that I have sometimes, but I really do love them. They're really pretty. So this spring, I need to just get out there, make a challenge for myself to wear them every day or something. <laughs> Okay, this next item that I bought, I have never shared on my channel yet, but it was this really pretty dress. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably include it in my spring capsule so you guys can see how it looks on me. But if you guys remember, I did have a pink dress on my wish list for a few years to like update my special occasion capsule, but I kind of have stopped searching for that. And then I found this at my local thrift store and it was actually in the kids section. It's like a extra large. <laughs> Um, but it fits me really nice and it has been really great. I wore it to like a baby shower and to Thanksgiving. I love this color and I ended up buying it for $8. So that was a great steal. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about this. I feel like in the spring and summer, I'm going to wear this a lot more, just like the more casual settings. Next up, we got another great thrift find. I got this sweatshirt at my local thrift store also for $3 this year and I did have a sweatshirt on my wish list. I thought I was gonna get one that said Dunder Mifflin on it, but then when I saw this for $3, I was like, this is amazing. And I've actually worn it a lot this year. I really love this wave and just this color scheme. This has been like a really great random find that I didn't know that I needed. Okay, prepare yourselves. <laughs> we are going into my running phase next. I did start running this year and I bought myself some stuff. I wonder if I went overboard or if this is normal. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys think. So first up, I got myself two running shorts and these were just from TJ Maxx, which I don't really shop there anymore normally. I used to shop there a lot before I was rebuilding my wardrobe and you know I thought I was getting all these great deals, but 
feel like a lot of the stuff there just doesn't last. So I'm a little bit conflicted by some of these things that I bought this year for running, but as I was looking at like running clothes online at like sustainable stores, it was just so expensive <laughs> to my, in my mind like to buy pair of shorts for like 30 40 dollars when i wasn't sure like how serious i was going to be taking this hobby yet so for now i just bought this pair of shorts and this pair of shorts and i think they were like eight dollars each which i was like fine let's just try this because i don't have any shorts to run in and i need some shorts and in the same category i got these running shoes my husband actually helped me find these these are the ultra running shoes and they were about $50. I kind of forgot to write down how much these were, but I remember they're around 50 And I feel like I'm still breaking these in, honestly, because sometimes as I'm running, they're not super comfortable. Um, but they have like a wide toe box and my feet are really wide too. So I feel like in theory, they should work for me. So I'm gonna not give up and keep trying these. I've actually not been running a whole lot this winter season because the rain and the cold kind of makes me scared and not want to go outside <laughs> but we're actually having a pretty mild winter so far so maybe i can challenge myself to get out there and run even though the weather is not great that's my new year's resolution <laughs> okay so my last bit of running clothes that i bought this year that i'm even more conflicted on <laughs> is this pack of running exercise tanks that I also got at TG Maxx and I was actually gonna return these. I bought them and I didn't wear them. I just kind of looked at them and thought about them for a month and decided to return them but I had missed the return window so that was a bummer so now I'm like okay I guess I need to keep them. I'm sure that they're gonna be fine. I actually do like these in theory they're like nice neutral colors different lengths i was just thinking like i didn't need three of these why did i buy the set of three it felt like too much um by the way this was 25 dollars okay i said that was it for running but that's not true there's one more thing i got a three pack of sports bras that i am wearing as i'm running which is nice um and this was 15 dollars also at tg max same feelings as before about them but I'm gonna wear them and enjoy them hopefully <laughs> by the way the tank tops i'm kind of counting separately but the sports bras i'm counting them as a lump sum of one <laughs> just because that's what i want to do okay moving on to the stuff i'm actually happy about <laughs> next up i bought these two turtlenecks second hand from poshmark these are the everlane ribbed turtlenecks and i ended up getting them together for 40 dollars with shipping so they ended up $20 each, which I was super happy with because these are like 50 on the Everlane website. So yeah, these guys I'm actually very pleased with. And I got one pair of pants this year, which are these balloon jeans. These are from Madewell, but I got them on Poshmark for $36. And I really like them actually. They're like super thick and sturdy. Great for winter. They have like a slightly oversized and flattering silhouette that I'm leaning into. <laughs> yeah, this has been a great purchase too. And the last clothing item are these overalls. Still have the tag on them. <laughs> these are from Dickies and I got them for $72, which I was on the hunt for overalls last year and I was really hoping to find some for cheaper, but it was a struggle. I do actually like everything about these. I just need to start wearing them. <laughs> Honestly, I had them kind of in the back of my closet by my dresses and I forgot that I had them actually for the whole month of December So hopefully I can wear these and not be afraid of getting them dirty because that's what overalls are actually for Okay, so I think this comes to 19 items, but I did buy two more things that I'm gonna mention even though They're technically not mine anymore. I did buy myself a pair of flip-flops from Old Navy in the summer and a pair of foam slides from Costco and I had bought them just so that I could wear them in the yard outside. My daughter actually is wearing them a lot more than me and we almost share a shoe size now so we just keep them outside and whoever wants to wear them wears them, <laughs> me or her. So it's kind of a shared item now. So I am still adding them into my total but technically I'm gonna just give those to her now. Okay, so the grand total of money I spent this year is $556, which it's pretty good. I think my goal usually is around 500. That's what I feel comfortable with. But some of these items I did buy from Poshmark where I have a lot of credit there from selling things. So that means my actual total of money spent. Okay, I'm actually not going to do this math. Let me use my phone. I'm not a math person, you guys. 
Okay, so I spent $480, which is great. And then I also counted that six of these items were bought secondhand and the rest were new, which is not super great. I do love to buy like a lot more items secondhand than this, but this year just got away from me somehow. <laughs> I guess let's go on to a part two of this video and I'll share all my deep thoughts <laughs> about how I feel about what I bought and if I met all those goals that I had for myself at the beginning of the year. Okay, here we are. We have changed locations. Um, I wanted to look at my six goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year and see if we ended up sticking to them or not. So <laughs> the first goal that I had was to buy clothes that I only love 100% and can wear for a long time. So I'm not sure that I actually met that goal. There was a lot of things that I bought that I do feel really excited about and I love them, but there's also some things that I'm really not sure about, mostly my running stuff that I bought and also all those swimsuits. I feel like I just got a little bit carried away this year, honestly. I probably am gonna use all these things throughout the year and sometimes when you're starting a hobby obviously you do need some stuff because I actually had no like running stuff at all. I'm trying to justify it a little bit but I probably didn't need to buy as much as I did. I'm gonna give myself a C on that one. My next goal was to add a sporty vibe into my wardrobe and Mostly I wanted to buy those sneakers that were kind of more relaxed, which I'm really happy with those Nike sneakers that I got. They do give like a light laid back casual vibe. And then I do think that some of these like sports tanks, if I can wear them with my regular clothes, that will also give me a little bit of a sporty vibe. So I'm gonna say that I did complete that goal. Um, I did want to buy a baseball cap at the beginning of this year and I kind of forgot about that completely. So yeah, maybe I can look for one that I like this year. Mission accomplished for this goal. <laughs> Next goal was to lean into the oversized slash unflattering silhouette. And I do think that I have done this this year. Those balloon jeans that I bought, they do have like a very unique look to them that is not very flattering sometimes. And then I also have been wearing my like white oversized um, sweater that is super giant that I love the look of. And then I think these overalls that I got are also gonna contribute to that a little bit. I think we're on track there too. But this next goal I really don't wanna talk about because that one was so more close, <laughs> which I didn't do at all this year. Not really sure why, honestly. Probably because I got so into gardening this year that I completely forgot about my sewing hobby. <laughs> and the annoying thing is that I have fabric and I have patterns that I can just use. I just need to like do it. I'm kind of bummed about that honestly because it was a really fun hobby to do and I felt so accomplished after I sewed something. So I'm like, I did that myself. So maybe we can do that this year a little bit. We will see. If I'm sticking to this grading thing, then that is definitely an F. And then of course we have the buy 12 items for the year situation, which we already talked about. I ended up buying 21 items for the year. So yeah, definitely forgot about that goal. But the funny thing is, I think last year in the year 2022, I think my goal was to buy 20 items. So I think I just in my mind switched over to that somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure yet what my goals are gonna be for this year. I'm actually really excited to sit down and kind of plan my wardrobe, what I wanna buy, if anything, and talk about my style goals for the year. So hopefully I'll have a video like that coming up soon. I'm hoping just to get out videos whenever I can because I just still love this community and I love talking with you guys and sharing my wardrobe and helpful tips that I have for you. So hopefully I can come back this year with some more good videos that are gonna be interesting for you guys to watch. Thanks for watching and always being here and I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.